Hi, I'm Alison Campbell. I'm Care Fertility's Chief Scientific Officer. Our ethos has always been to continuously generate ideas for improvement, explore scientific potential, remove boundaries and develop new techniques. Why is this so important to us? Well, we've demonstrated that by doing this, we can develop and perfect treatments which help more people and improve success. Most people undergoing IVF fertility treatment have a number of embryos. It's really important that we choose the best one to transfer to the patient. One example of how we have innovated in this area is the development of Care Maps. Care was the first in the UK to introduce time-lapse imaging of embryos. And about 10 years ago, using this technology, we developed and published a new method to classify embryos in a way that had never been done before. This discovery made the news internationally. We've continued this important work and very recently we've introduced artificial intelligence to improve embryo selection. We built this novel technology after analysing almost half a billion images of embryos. There are many examples of how our experts undertake research and innovation. And as a result, we've developed a great toolkit of treatments and we see the benefit of this in success rates for our patients. Artificial intelligence is being introduced into many aspects of our lives, from speech and handwriting recognition to gaming and healthcare. It's been demonstrated that artificial intelligence, and specifically machine learning, can outperform humans in many human decision-making tasks. Humans make decisions based on their experience and often very simple rules. In IVF, scientists and medics make many decisions one of the most critical ones to treatment success is which embryo to choose. Care fertility scientists have undertaken extensive research over a decade to improve the accuracy of embryo selection. And this resulted in models or algorithms called care maps to select embryos with the highest chance of becoming a baby. Care's work in this area has been widely published. And our latest development uses machine learning to analyse embryo development right from fertilisation up to the point of embryo transfer to the patient. Because we have a large group of clinics performing the same high-tech embryology, we collated almost half a billion images from 63,000 embryos from our time-lapse incubators and trained a machine learning model to assess their development accurately and automatically. Our own research, which has been presented at the American Society for Reproductive Medicine conference, demonstrates how without such sophisticated tools, embryologists don't always agree regarding which embryo to choose. 57 experienced embryologists assessed single images of 240 embryos and the embryologists assessments agreed on which was the best embryo less than half of the time, despite them having undertaken the same training and education. Embryo assessment using machine learning when trained on large high quality data is more accurate and consistent than the assessments made by humans. Machine learning assessment is consistent. Humans change their minds, and it's estimated that an embryologist with 10 years training and experience may have gained experience from assessing about 10,000 embryos over that decade. And CareMaps AI was trained on 63,000 embryos and almost half a billion images of them. Accuracy was assessed using previously unseen embryos by comparing the results of the machine learning model with human assessment of embryo development. This research was recently selected and presented at the European Society for Human Reproduction, the ESHRAE conference. The machine learning model, CareMaps AI, automatically and rapidly generates assessments of the embryos. We compared how reliably this information could be used to predict which embryo would make a baby and how it compared to existing manual methods. And CareMaps AI resulted in more accurate predictions. So this is really exciting and a big step forward for more automated embryo selection. 
This technology is safe and non-invasive. It assesses images of embryos which are already being collected and the machine learning model was trained on our own extensive high quality data. There's increasing evidence supporting the application of machine learning to utilise big data from time-lapse imaging and fertility care generally. And this is great news for fertility patients.